what's called morphogen gradients, right? So a morphogen, this FGF signal, these diffusible ligands. There is this guy called Alan Turing. Do you know this guy? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He put out three big papers in his life that were kind of pivotal. One was on the, uh, what was it? The computing machine? What, what's that one called? The uh, machine? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. So he put out one on like, basically, this is what a computer does and how you add numbers in a very sophisticated way. Right. The next one was his artificial intelligence paper where we get the, the highly popularized Turing test. Yeah. And the one that is incredibly important to every mathematical biologist, but not so much to the rest of the world, is a paper called On the Basis of Chemical Morphogenesis. And in this paper, he goes through and through simple coupled partial differential equations, he's able to get to the point of saying, why we have animals with spotted bodies, not with spotted bodies and striped tails, but no animals with striped bodies and spotted tails. Mm. Can you think of one, an animal that does that? So a cheetah, spotted body, striped tail, not the other way around. Mm. You can have a zebra. You, I mean, there's an animal with striped bodies and striped tails. It comes down to domain size, right? So basically, if you're on a big domain, you'll get stripes. If you're on a, or you'll get spots. And if you're on a small domain, you'll get stripes.